to the final week of It Takes Two. Yeah. Oh, tonight we raise a toast to Anita and Gleb, who very sadly left the competition last oh. night. We are jutted. I will celebrate them with them, though. Uh, that leaves four couples reaching for the stars this weekend. And a little later on, some of their famous supporters will campaign on their behalf. Very exciting. Ooh. Plus, he may be the last judge to grace us with his presence. Uh, but he's certainly not the least. It's <laughs> Uh, but first, who can forget their fiery Paso Doble in Blackpool or their saucy cell block tango? Certainly not I. It is the wonderful Anita and Gleb. I'm so sorry that you got so close and just missed out at the last hurdle. You've been so incredible. But I think, Anita, you should celebrate because you have been magnificent. How much have you enjoyed it? I have loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. I have thrown myself into the experience from day one. I just thought, if you're going to do this, let's just go for it. Yeah. And I th hopefully that came across. I and think that's come across. I definitely. have no expectations of what it would be really um and thought okay i quite fancy learning how to dance and then i don't know we just just had a ball yeah. it, it was amazing yeah it was just a lot a I love it. at the beginning when you think way back it seems like years ago now it's months ago did you have any expectations of what the competition would be like or how far you would get and when you first start dancing with gleb you're thinking okay i could get quite good at this or you're like this is going to be a matter of weeks uh i just i just love the program and have always loved dancing but just yeah. as, like anybody you know when you just I used to dance in front of top of the pops as yeah. a kid you know exactly. that kind of but this like actually learning to dance is so hard I've got so much respect for Gleb and all the other pros and the amount of dedication and just how physically demanding it is yeah. and mentally challenging um, so no nothing prepares you for just how difficult it is how to actually learn and then not only that but perform live every Saturday but my goodness have I had a good time when I just look at Gleb it. smiling away looking at you performing uh, your fox shot there Gleb we know you have worked Anita so very very hard but she's not disappointed you she's been incredible how proud are you and how impressed are you with how yes I did and I'm so proud of you, and I've said it already many, many times that a person who had no dance experience coming in and giving your all 100%, working so hard, wanting to learn how to dance, trusting me, and just jumping me into this journey with me, and you know, it's been just um, super. Oh, it was oh yeah. I heard somebody gasping in the audience. I think someone's actually weeping. I don't know if that's because Gleb's got his shirt slightly undone or she's <laughs> upset. Um, your salsa, what an amazing performance. Um, it really was so physical. I mean, Craig said it was like the Olympics. And it really, really was. All of that and in a wedge, Anita. I know. So impressed. Um, it really complex choreography there as well. And then you had to do it again in the dance-off. <laughs> I mean, you must have been exhausted. I just feel like, I, when we watched it back, honestly, we watched it back after we'd done the show, and even Gleb was laughing, going, how you're pulling this off? I never know. I'm like, now you're saying that? After <laughs> just going, what, you're doing this, you're doing this. I think it's just what Gleb said. After working together for so many weeks, we just become in sync, and I have absolutely trusted him. He, everything he says, he says, don't worry, just do it, I'll catch you. And I trust him wholeheartedly. I knew, I just knew that if he says I can do it, I'll be able to do it, it's fine. But yes, that was the most complicated routine ever. Even you made the show. You made the show. Oh, you made the show. First time in the bottom two as well. When you heard you were in the bottom two, I mean, what went through your mind? When you had to go out and dance against Katie and Anton, what were you thinking? I mean, I just thought, let's just give it our all. Honestly, I sort of, we've, I felt, we felt for a while that the public have our back, like yeah. in such a huge way. And the last two days, I've been so fine about the fact that we're out. It's not mm. an issue. It's a wonderful show. And that was it. Our time was, it was then. But what sort of really overwhelmed me and got me quite emotional is the reaction we've had from the public who have just been so devastated on my behalf because they know, I guess, how hard we've worked. Yeah. And uh, so I, I sort of felt when we were in the dance off, okay. I don't know. I don't know whether we're going to be the ones saved here because so, the public have supported me, I guess, more than anything. They're right. I, they're, people are incensed at what's happened, actually. I must mention Sam, who's nine, and Katie, who's 11, who apparently were very upset last night. Mike Nelly, she cried her eyes out last night. Um, so many lovely messages. Anonymous said, in 
can definitely you'll not go through to the final. Sarah said, you may not have made the final, but you'll always be my winners. Lots of people saying lovely Aww. things like this. Um, Adil Ray from the sitcom Citizen Cars shared this. Well done, Anita Rani, a true star who went on a brilliant journey. Looking forward to you showing me a move or two. <laughs> Very proud. And the legend and friend of the show, Russell Grant, shared this, which I think sums it up perfectly. To lose Anita and Gleb from Strictly is to lose vitality, originality, and sheer joy. Anita, be so proud of yourself. Oh, that's really, yeah. yeah it's that, it's, it's overwhelming. And yeah, originality, and that comes down to Gleb and his choreography, honestly. Ahead of your time, mate. Ahead yes, of your time. so honestly, ahead of your time. Just <laughs> genius. He is an absolute genius. Absolutely brilliant. Let's enjoy some of those incredible moments that you two have given us throughout this year's Epic. The one showing you what to do, Anita. I can't even believe it's me. I, I just want to say thank you to Gleb. Listen, we've honestly, I've just always wanted to learn how to dance and... Well, you did. I know, and you'll always be the man that taught me. And you know what? Gleb is going to have a fantastic career on Strictly, but I will always be his first. You'll be his <laughs> first. <laughs> Anita, you've been an utter joy. Gleb, oh. you know what I think about you. Uh, Anita and Gleb, well done, my darling. <laughs> Now, with our finalists now revealed and the grand final fast approaching, have you ever wondered what our celebrities think of one another? Well, wonder no more. From the BBC, this is Strictly Now, as the last four celebrities sweat it out in the training room ahead of this Saturday's final, we are joined by some of their closest friends here to convince you who should win. Please welcome Bonnie Langford, Hayley Tamadon, Tom Parker and Gabby Logan. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> Here. The campaign starts now. <laughs> <laughs> You've made banners and everything. Bonnie, down at Walford Square, how proud Albert Square, are yes. Al Albert Square. Yes, <laughs> we are we are <laughs> firm. <laughs> yes, Thanks. Albert Square. We are firm. We are so into strictly that my character Carmel, her cat is called Craig Rebel Horwood. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean we So I nice to see you. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed you too. I've had to wait for you for I so know, long. I know. I've been so long. busy, so 